Hi guys and welcome to Agadir. Uh, we are in Morocco currently and I'm gonna spend here a couple of days just exploring this beautiful town. Uh, although I've heard that there is not much to see here. Oh, look at that. Behind me some surfers. But there is definitely an ocean so hopefully as always we'll learn something together and I'll be able to show you the most beautiful sights here in Agadir, Morocco. Right now after my first breakfast in a hotel just behind my back somewhere there literally it's like a 500 meters from the beach uh, I'm planning to walk along the ocean till I reach that beautiful mountain let me show you yes just in front of me it's the beginning of January and the temperature is 26 degrees currently so yeah I hope you'll enjoy it and we'll learn something together and I'll be able to visit all the places that I plan to visit see you soon Agadir, founded in the 16th century, is a city with a unique blend of history and modernity. Its fate was forever changed by the devastating earthquake of 1960, which leveled almost 90% of the city in just 15 seconds, claiming around 15,000 lives and leaving thousands homeless. This tragedy destroyed much of Agadir's historic architecture, including Agadir Kasbah, but it also marked the beginning of its transformation into a modern, vibrant city. In the aftermath, the city was rebuilt two kilometers south of its original site, designed with modern infrastructure and earthquake-resistant buildings. Today, Agadir offers a European-style city layout, wide boulevards and a focus on tourism, drinking visitors from all around the world. Though it lacks many historic sites, it has become a magnet for tourists, especially Europeans, thanks to its year-round warm temperatures, often above 25 Celsius degrees, its famous beach and the chance to learn surfing on the Atlantic coast. The city's 10-kilometer-long beach is a main attraction, offering sunbathing, swimming and water sports. Surfing lessons are widely available, making it a hotspot for both beginners and experienced surfers. The beach is lined by the main boulevard, bustling with restaurants, cafes and shops, perfect for an evening stroll or enjoying a meal with ocean views. Though largely destroyed by the earthquake, the Agaru Kasba, original built in 1540, still offers panoramic views of the city and coastline. It's one of the few remnants of Agadir's pre-earthquake history and a mass visit for the view alone. For a quiet retreat, visit the Jardin Oliao, a peaceful park honoring the city's ties with Portugal. or explore the Amazigh Heritage Museum, dedicated to preserving the Berber heritage. This municipal museum brings together handicraft jewelry and objects from the Amazigh culture alongside contemporary art exhibitions featuring modern paintings and traditional Amazigh jewelry.
the Mohammed V Square, with its blend of traditional and modern American architecture, is another key landmark. Although non-Muslims cannot enter, its exterior is worth admiring during a city tour. Food recommendations. Tajin is a traditional Moroccan dish slow cooked in a cone-shaped clay pot, featuring a flavor combination of meat, vegetables and spices often served with couscous or bread. Close to the Mohammed V Mosque, you'll find cozy restaurants offering the best beef tagine in town. It's a local favorite with affordable prices and a welcoming atmosphere. For drinks and casual bites, head to Lazette Restaurant Bar Tapas, located in the city center. It's an affordable spot offering great tapas and a relaxed vibe. Snack Top Chef is the best place if you want to try some local seafood. Useful tips. Best time to visit. Agadir is a year-round destination with warm weather, especially popular with Europeans escaping colder climates. Getting around. Most attractions are close to the beach, making the city easy to explore on foot or by taxi. Surfing. Numerous surf schools are available, offering lessons for all levels. Cost. A good hotel close to the beach, double room one night, 30 euros. Cable car to the Kasbah, 90 dirham, 8 euros 30. Food. Tajin close to the Mohammed V Mosque, 4 euros fish at snack top chef depending on the dish between 4 and 6 euros for a dish drinks small local beer around 3 euros what can we learn visiting agadir offers a glimpse into how a city can rebuild and thrive after a devastating earthquake it's a vibrant destination for european travelers escaping colder climates offering beautiful beaches and year-round sunshine agadir stands as a testament to resilience blending modern infrastructure with a strong tourism sector while still preserving its rich Moroccan culture. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Walking the World. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep dreaming, keep exploring, and keep living your best life. Ciao.